Hi, I'm Ira Wolf. I'm Lee Hankey. And this is our van, Ruby. Before we really get into this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see more videos like this one. About three years ago, I was doing a tour solo. I reached out to a company called Go Westy, asked if they would be interested in sponsoring the tour. They said yes, and they let me borrow this van for a six month long tour. And then at the end of that trip, I had to give the van back, which was really, really hard because it had kind of become my little home on the road. I wrote almost an entire album just kind of about traveling and breakdowns and loneliness. It's kind of a unique lifestyle and so it comes with its own ups and downs. We kind of just stayed in talks for about a year, I want to say, and eventually came to an agreement that I was able to actually buy the van back from them. Then shortly after that, I think, was when you moved in with me. So we basically started dating. I bought the van and we pretty much immediately moved into it together. And that's, yeah, continued to inspire our writing over the last couple of years. Life is really hard to write about when everything's going smoothly because you just want to go hiking and camping and whatever other fun things you want to do. But with a van that's not always reliable, you have those moments of inspiration quite a bit. Like we were just stuck mm -hmm. in Portland and had to redo the caps and rotors and got new spark plugs and the whole mm -hmm. time I was sitting there fixing it I was like, this is inspiring. <laughs> All right, so this is Ruby Van Zant. It's a 1988 Westphalia Vanagon. Full camper, restored and customized by Go Westy, which was where we got it from. I initially named Ruby from a David Rawlings song about a woman named Ruby. Uh, when we bought the van, we added to the name because of Towns Van Zant. Uh, so now her full name is Ruby Van Zant. We are running a 2400cc water boxer engine from Go Westy in here. And we have a lot of different features that have been added on, like the bumpers are a Go Westy feature that they designed. We put the Yakima rack and a storage box up top just to help with space. And then around back, swing bars from Go Westy. These are kind of a hydraulic system so that we have a little extra space on the back, but we can also still get into the back hatch. There's not that much space, especially with our full-time jobs on the road with music. It's like both of these boxes are just full of t-shirts and CDs and all of our tools or anything that we need to work on the van is in our lock box there. We carry a little bit of extra gas because we don't have a very big gas tank. We can only make it about 200 miles on a tank, so we get a little bit extra on there. We don't have permanent solar, but we do have a portable solar panel. It's actually inside right now under the pop top. So this is that. And then it's just a fold out system. And this one's an 80 watt. So we can set that up wherever, plug straight in. We have a connection over here where we can plug straight into our auxiliary battery. We run a deep cycle battery on the inside um, that charges from our alternator. But if we are camped for a few days, uh, we can plug the solar straight into that. Um, and that'll run our fridge and everything else. All right, so this is our home. I think one of the biggest benefits of having a Westie is the pop top. I think that's what initially drew me to this style of van. I like that we have a pretty low profile when we're driving, but then when we are camped, we can set the top up and have some standing room. So one other pretty sweet Go Westy feature that we added on here is actually on the outside there, another hydraulic system that helps push the top up. Just because we have so much storage up top that it gets really, really heavy and we definitely wouldn't be able to lift it without those. Some windows that we can open to get some airflow. We have two bed setups. We typically sleep down below. This seat here pulls out into a bed and then up top here, this folds forward and there's another bed up here. Right here is our stove and sink. We've got a little bit of propane down below. So a little two burner stove and a sink. And we carry about 20 gallons of water. And then we have our fridge here. The original models of these vehicles, this was a fridge here, but it was a propane fridge and they were kind of unreliable and didn't actually stay that cold. So we ended up with an Ingle fridge, which runs off of our auxiliary battery. Takes up a little bit more space, but works well. We didn't do too much customization in here. The German engineering of the Westies was 
done pretty well, so we didn't have to really add much. Um, the few things that we have added, Lee is a woodworker, and so he's added a couple of items like this uh, spice rack here. We've got our fold-out table, some more storage here and here, which is where we usually keep our clothes and stuff. And then some air plants because they're really hard to kill. And it's nice to have something else living in the van. And then um, this is another feature that Lee built for the van. It's basically a wooden storage box. We carry this Goal Zero to charge phones, laptops, camera gear, all that kind of stuff. And so we wanted a specific space for that where it would be set. And then we have a little book drawer there. And then we also carry a little bit of extra drinking water back here. We like these giant hydro flasks for our drinking water. So we have a little space for those so they won't be rolling around the van. Our auxiliary battery is under there. We've got a converter there if we need it. We've got a lot of extra storage under the seat here, which is great. And then this is how the bed pulls out as well. We don't have air conditioning anymore, but we have a nice sound system. One thing that I would like to upgrade in here is our lighting setup. We originally just had this little light and it doesn't do too much. So we added the Goal Zero hanging lights, but I would like a little bit more permanent situation on those. I have a song called Pictures on a Wall that I wrote uh, when I was traveling in the van alone. It was kind of about how I missed the aspect of home where you get to actually like decorate and hang up pictures and artwork and all that kind of stuff. And shortly after that, I started taking Polaroids uh, in different places that we would visit and just putting those up on our, the only wall that we <laughs> have in the van. Um, started adding that just to make it a little more homey. I think that's about it. This is a song I wrote about the worst sunburn of my entire life and loneliness. <laughs> There's a community that we've found that I think yeah. we wouldn't have been introduced to otherwise. So the people I think that we've met on the road, specifically in van life, has definitely influenced our writing. It's comforting to stay moving, but I think there's something to staying in one space for a little while um, that we haven't really done with van life. We, I think because of the way that we play shows, we typically are moving every night. If I could go back a few years, I would tell myself to make more time in the, the spaces that we visit. I would tell myself to learn to appreciate everything and all the time that you have um, and all the freedom we have. The concept of how short life is has always been really important. You know, every day trying not to take it for granted and taking advantage of every opportunity, soaking up the adventure of it all. Thank you for watching this week's episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you really love what we create here at Floor, we're working hard to bring you more better, higher quality content. And so if you would like to support us, consider clicking the link in the description and joining the community on Patreon and you can support the channel through that. So if you love what we do, consider checking out our Patreon page and thank you for watching. Have a great week. Big love. Peace out.